Okay, so this is Dreamer, and I have been told that Dreamer does not like to take Dreamer or other oral medications. I've never given him anything myself yet, and I've never seen it done. So um, uh, we're going to do a little bit of prep and just kind of, we're gonna find out and see um, how he is today. So I have him outfit in a rope halter that gives me a little bit more control um, than his nylon stable halter. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of mess around for a couple of minutes with moving his head. So before I even go to the worming, I wanna just see if I can get him to flex laterally. Cause he's, he's new to our program and you can see he's a little confused about just flexing his head. He's kind of trying to back up a little bit here. He's kind of getting himself backed into a corner. I don't want him in a corner. I just want him to learn to flex his head. And I'm gonna let him, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna move his hind quarters for a second here because I want him to come out of the corner. Okay. So there, it's better. You see, he's connecting what I do with his nose with what he needs to do with his feet. And I want him to separate into two tasks. So I'm gonna try to just get him to give me his nose. And I'm gonna drift with him while he figures it out. So my release spot is really important there when he's confused because if I don't, I could have the opportunity to release and miss and if I do that, I have to kind of hang with him. So sometimes even too, if I just ask them for just this kind of a little bit, I'll do the same thing the other side. Just this kind of a little bit to move his head. And then I also want him to bring his head down. So he did okay at all of that. So the next thing I'm gonna do, and let's see, Rhonda, you might keep recording and maybe mm -hmm. shift over to this corner because I'm okay. probably gonna be mostly on his left. Okay. You see? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of be careful not to get tangled in your rope at any point. I'm gonna just kind of pet and rub around his mouth, put my finger in his mouth, ask him to flex his head towards me again. He's pretty stiff in the neck. And again, he's, he's kind of thinking that that means something for his feet. So this is something that I, there, I'll give him, he even tries to move his head to the left even just a little bit. I'm gonna let him have release there. And again, touch his mouth on the inside, ask him to move and lower his head. I might put it over here too. Okay, so nothing too terrible yet. So now I have in my back pocket, I have a, a magic marker and I'm gonna just kinda rub around on his face with the magic marker. And I'm gonna put the marker in his mouth. I have the cap on so he's not having to eat ink. Rub, rub, put the marker in his mouth. There, I just finally got a little opposition that time when I went to touch with my finger, he tried to take his head away. So I'm just gonna kind of continue to do that. Take it away, remind him about lowering his head. Good, good boy. So he's kind of got a little, a little ex facial expression, like he's not sure, you know, what's gonna happen here. But so far he hasn't tried to throw his head up. I don't know what his go-to move usually is. It might be better that I don't know, <laughs> right? Okay, yes. so now I've got the tube of wormer. And before I take the cap off of it, 
I'm going to do the same thing with the white wormer tube. I'm just petting him with it. Okay. Pet, 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 all over. Make sure he's not afraid of that white tube. Take it away. Do it again. Put my finger in his mouth, take it away. The geldings, you've got to be careful because they've got those canine teeth. They can kind of get you with when you put your finger in their mouth. Okay, so that was all all right. I want to also make sure that maybe I could put my hand under his chin and touch under there. He's a little tickly under there, isn't he? So that, when I did that, that kind of triggered him to toss his head a little. So I'm gonna just kind of scratch and rub around on his chin, finger in his mouth. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop the cap off of my wormer. Here we go, see if we can do this. Pat. Pat. So I like to do is I like to kind of go ahead, if I can, I hook the corner of their mouth with my finger like so. They make these syringes too long. In and hold his head up so that he has to swallow the whole thing. And he took his warmer. Voila. That was not too <laughs> difficult. Nobody, no fingernails got broken. He's not real happy now, but he's already taken it. I'm gonna just pitch that out of my way so he doesn't have to smell the nasty, ugly thing. And then I'm just gonna pet him for a minute. Yeah. So I think, um, you know, just the, that horse banging on the fence over there made him a little nervous. So now he's a little, He's a little bit worried after the fact, isn't he, Ron? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just going to stand here and pet. So I think the more that you can do something like this and make things kind of routine and ritual, uh, you know, little things that he's not super good at yet, like, uh, you know, flexing his head, although we made some improvement there, touch, being able to touch all over his face without him shaking his face around or bumping into you. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just kind of petting his face. And then I'm going to get out of here and leave him alone and let him feel like, hey, I've had a good experience with this today. Thanks, Rhonda.